Hey guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right. <laughs> All right. So, y'all remember about yesterday, right? When I came in, I was like super excited. I was like, a lot of good things are happening in my life and everything is popping off. Right after that, I come back in and find out that the other kid that works with me, he basically quit. And he got another job somewhere else. And I'm like, wait, what? Right? And we're like in the middle of redesigning the whole website, changing the whole company around, right? And basically that bomb just blew up in the office. Where it's like, hey, the other person who is a developer there who helps out with all the shit that's happening on the, on the website, um, he basically quit. He put in his two weeks notice, maybe like a three week notice, and now he's leaving. And I'm not mad at him because it's been a clusterfuck. It's been very stressful in this this company. Um, you know, the people are cool, but we came in at the wrong time. Before we came, we was here. Uh, there were developers who spent years of not doing work pretty much acting as if they were doing work and they just left us a whole bunch of shit to do right so it's like somebody took a shit on a website and left it there for years and then we gotta come in and clean it up and that's what we were doing so this kid joe he pretty much got burnt out you know the last remember i told you guys we we needed to to release the website as soon as possible because of some urgency that happened. And basically, he got burnt out. He was like, yo, I can't deal with this shit. Um, you know, there was days that he was staying in to like 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, who the hell wants to work in a company where you're pretty much the cleanup crew, right? And that's what we've been doing. Like, when I came in here, um, the website was on Pearl. It was a, a complete mess. And then from there, um, between me and my other partner, we, we basically changed the whole fucking website to PHP Laravel. We got uh, like a, you know, one or two, um, how you call this, like uh, one or two guys to help us out remotely. But 90% of the work, it was us, you know? So shit is happening that right now we still got to redesign the whole website we got to change it and, and put in the new design and do everything right and i don't know i feel kind of stressed out because it's like now since he's leaving you remember the last two like a week two weeks ago when he was in vacation like it's pretty much a scheme went on vacation <laughs> went on vacation and it fucking came back and it's like oh hey guys um um I'm not, I'm not going to work here no more. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not mad at him for that. But what sucks is for me, because I'm like, yo, I fucking hate it being in charge of like the IT department or being the only person working on this shit. I hated that shit. I don't like dealing with it because it's not a company where everything runs smoothly. Every day is some new shit. Every day is a new bug. Every day is something that's breaking constantly. It's extremely stressful. And then now I'm going to be here like the only one dealing with this shit. Supposedly we're going to hire uh, two developers, right? The two developers that are coming in are completely junior, basically junior level developers. One is straight out of college, never done web development. And the other one is is uh he's done web development but he most of his thing is wordpress so it's like pretty much i'm gonna have to fucking teach these guys everything everything that they know and okay people are gonna say oh you're an asshole because if you're the senior developer there you're gonna have to teach them and that's how it should be yes guys i know but the problem is that there's so many issues and so much shit that i have to do that it's just crazy like i will have to you know, it's it's like I'm going to have to not only manage, teach, but also build shit because things got to get done. So I got to build it, right? 
Nobody else is here is going to be at the same level as me. So pretty much whenever there's a fucking issue, everybody's going to come to me. So not only do I have to worry about my code, I got to worry about everybody else's code. I hate that shit. I, I seriously fucking hate that shit, man. And I'm really fucking pissed off because at least, uh, you know, with the other kid that worked with me, you know, we would uh, even things out. Like, okay, he'll focus more on on the back end side or, and managing other people. And I could focus on the front end and then come in and help out with Laravel too. But now it's like I got to do everything. How I was doing it like the past, you know, week and a half ago where I was doing two weeks of me running like the whole company by myself. I don't like that shit. That shit fucking drains me. It gets me fucking really tired. I come home with my, my head hurting me. Like, it's fucking really stressful. And I'm really pissed off, man, because, like, I was going to fucking quit a few months ago. And I was like, yo, uh, this shit might not be for me. You know, I'm about to leave. And then with the other kid, he's like, oh, no, nah, don't worry. Things is going to get better. Think, you know, just stick it stick it through and just stay here. And then on the first opportunity he gets, he leaves. Like, you know what I mean? That's like somebody's telling you, it's like, oh, man, don't worry, man. Just stick it through. Just stay here. You're going to be fine. And then on the first opportunity, you're the first one to leave. It's like, nah, man. That shit fucking sucks. And I'm not mad at him because, you know, what he's getting is going to be way better than what he's getting here. And he's actually going to be more, um, I don't know. He he has more opportunity to be successful and live a, a pretty comfortable life and, and be good, right? Um, even though we're, we're both getting paid pretty good, you know, where he's going, he's going to get paid excellent, right? Um, which is going back to the city, like working in New York City. Like me right now, I don't work in New York City. I live, I live outside of New York. I live in Long Island and work in Long Island. So it's the same thing, right? Um, if I decide tomorrow to be like, hey, I'm just gonna start working back in the city, I easily get 120k, 140k. Like that's just it's simple. But the problem is. Do I really want to do that? Do I really want to be taking a train? Do I really want to be fucking with 30,000 people next to you constantly? Fucking the rush hour. Like, I hate that shit, right? So, um, yeah, that's what my <laughs> web developer's lunch break is about today. Um, we should call it, I don't know, loyalty or when do you leave? When you should leave. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna me. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick it through, cause I'm the type of person I like to finish the job and then decide what I want to do with myself. Um, I want to finish the the whole web design, like the whole redesign. And once we do that, then from there, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. You know, uh, maybe work remotely to the owner. Hey, I want to work remotely, or I'm gonna be like, hey. You know, it was great, great experience or, uh, you know, I'm ready to move out to somewhere else because I really want to move to another state. Like everybody here knows that everybody here knows that I want to move to another state. I want to move to a state where it's cheaper, where I can make my money. Uh, you know, I don't have to work so hard, so many hours. You know, I feel like 40 hours a week is too many fucking hours. Working 40 hours a week is tough. It was over nine, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids. All right? And then from there, you got um, our sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful and I'm doing my thing thanks to you to me. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world, they're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right. And then from there, you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room, it's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. 
You know, we got Cam. We got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingFace.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.